My name is Mariah Dykes and I'm a strategic communications major. I don't deal with more stress or depression than a normal, like than higher than normal. Most of it's just normal stress from schoolwork and things like that. I think I have like minor amount of anxiety, like right before speeches or right before assignments do, I get like really knotted up and can't eat and things like that. I have five dogs and one cat. Uh, I, one of them was my grandmother's name, Sue, and then the others are Blue, Marley, Daisy, Hershey, and the cat's name is Astrid. Um, Hershey is half German Shepherd, half Chocolate Lab. Blue is a miniature Australian Shepherd. Daisy is a Rat Terrier. Marley is a mixed dog. Sue is also an Australian Shepherd. And Astrid, I'm not sure what kind of cat she is. Um, Marley I got when I was in junior high school from one of a guy my dad worked with. He had a, a lot of dogs and so he wanted to get rid of them so my, I begged my dog to get, my dad to give it to me to let me have one. I, we got my brother got Hershey when he was in seventh grade because he desperately wanted a German Shepherd and one of his friends dog was a German Shepherd and had yeah, got pregnant with a lab so my brother was like I need this dog. Um, and my grandparents both bought Sue and Blue Australian Shepherds because they liked the type of dog it was. They like follow you around and do things for you like that. And Daisy my dad got as a hunting dog but she turned out to just be a house pet. <laughs> Marley is my dog. Uh, she, when my dad got her, I got to keep her in my room and raise her, so she was like my dog and like connected to me. <laughs> like, uh, Cody was associated with Blue and Ryan was associated with Hershey, but now that they're not there, there's just like me and my parents, so that like all of them kind of have like a connection, especially like Blue because she lived with my grand my grandma grandmother, then moved to my brother and then moved kind of just like in general in the house and she's kind of a special puppy so she is you makes you feel bad for her like you yeah. have to do something it's kind of like an animal that's like always there for you that like makes sure that you're okay and that you're happy and that you're not sad because the animals know when you're sad and they want to help you so I think that they always like make you happy because they don't ever disappoint you they're always there <laughs> right <laughs> like just laying there and then like my dog thinks I'm sad or not paying attention to anything she'll like come over and sit beside me and like lay her head on me and it makes me feel like so sad I'm like I'm sorry that you think I'm sad and then Blue does the same thing where she'll come up and she'll like rub her leg on me and like will give me like sad eyes like oh what's happening I think animals can help with just about anything like there are studies that say that dogs are able to tell when you're heart rate starts slowing down and it can like wake you up it's like very beneficial for everyone the family and the person yes i do believe in the concept of emotional support animals